Since the release of the M1 Mac Mini, folks have been having issues with Bluetooth connectivity. And I'm talking about everyone. There might be a handful of people that got it as soon as it released and didn't have any issues, but the majority of people that have purchased the M1 Mac Mini have had issues. And so my first video, I uploaded a workaround with using the Magic Keyboard, but using it USB-A to Lightning uh, because it wasn't connecting via Bluetooth and you had to use three specific keys to actually get through the initial setup. So I thought to myself, I wonder if the 16 gig model has that same issue. So let's get into it and see if it does. contains a built-in screen reader called voiceover. If you know how to use voiceover, press command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use voiceover to set up your Mac, press the escape key. As you can see, the initial setup was actually very different. You weren't prompted for the Magic Trackpad or the Magic Keyboard. You didn't have to connect anything. I don't know if there's something that has to do with... That wouldn't make sense. I was, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, 16 gigs, 8 gigs of RAM, memory. There's no correlation. They both have the same update. They're both 11.1. 11, 11 so, why... Why the difference? At the same time though, the similarity was that I did have to connect the Magic Keyboard via USB. I, it didn't wanna work. So there is still a Bluetooth issue, but it doesn't seem that once plugging it in, I had to use those three specific keys that I had mentioned in my first video. And take a look up here so that you can see that first video so you know what I'm talking about. I really have no idea what the difference is. Both OS's are 11.1. I specifically have not updated the 8 gig M1 Mac Mini because people have been saying that they've had more issues with a newer update. I don't know if Apple tried to fix these Bluetooth issues with a recent update, but people have been complaining that there's been interference issues 
more than the last one. So I've been hesitant to upgrade, but the only true difference between these other than is that I bought the eight gig about two weeks after our launch and I bought the 16 gig two months after launch. So I'm, and I'm, I'm just not sure. So I'm gonna take a deep dive further and then update you guys later. The eight gig was purchased online. So it didn't come from the store, but they all come from Foxconn anyway. I, I really, I really don't know why, why it's different when it's so similar, except for eight, eight gigs more. But that wraps up this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.